Hello, welcome to this tutorial. This time I'd like to show you how to decorate nails on Clue. We'll be using lots of pins and gizmo, so it's gonna be a nice practice with arranging tools. Hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Firstly, we need an avatar. Since I'm this not facing the front, we don't have the exact form of the fingers, but we can still guide us with the gray shade of the avatar. Let's zoom in a bit in 2D. With a polygon tool, draw a draft of your first nail. I'm drawing a long extended nail here. And since it's such a small piece, you'll quickly notice that you can't be really delicate as when you are building up garment. Now my nail is ready. Let me check in 3D window as well by pressing down the F key on the keyboard. As you can see, the nail is better to sharp. We can lower down the particle distance to have smaller meshes, then the nail will be better shaped. I'm clicking on this target icon here to bring it directly where I want it to be, to see how it matches with a finger. Let me leave it somewhere here, then I'll adjust it with a gizmo. For this exercise, I chose to use screen coordinate one here. To better visualize, I will make this fabric be transparent temporarily. In the properties editor, you can lower down the opacity value here. Then I continue adjusting the nail so that I can refine the form. With the selection tool, if I double click the pivot point, I get to rescale the pattern piece symmetrically. Maybe shorten it a bit as well. This part where the nail grows could be a bit rounded. Then it's time to use the pin box tool. We're going to add multiple pins all along the side. If you hover over on the pattern outline, you will see the light blue point, meaning you can add pins here. And double click on one of them. You can check your pins in 3D in orange color, and same for the other side. Let's see what happens now if we simulate. Somehow it's not flat, but it has air buffer in it. So we have to change some settings. Firstly, I will decrease the additional thickness collision to zero. Then I simulate again, it goes closer to the nail by 2.5 millimeters. And we do the same thing with the avatar, we set the skin offset to zero. Now it's completely flat. I will also put the opacity value back to 100. Alright, now we curve the nails with the pins, we change the angle the way it's easy to manipulate the pins. Then with the simulation on, I grab the pins and push it a bit to create curve line. Since this is such a small piece, to move the whole pattern piece, you can do the selection into the window and use the gizmo in 3D window. Otherwise, you will only be able to click on the pins. Now we finalize the first nail, we can copy and paste for the other fingers. I will do the copy paste into the window, then adjust to the new finger in 3D window. Then I repeat the same process for the other fingers. For this pinky, we will have to reshape the nail. Here I remove the pins with the W key to check the size and the new shape. To avoid it from falling down, hold it with left click before activating the simulation. Then if I like it, I add the pins again. Lastly, we have a thumb. Once again, this nail would need some fine tuning. Now this hand is complete. I can then customize it by adding a texture or changing the type of the fabric, etc. Here, I'm going to add a texture, for example. In my library, I have this texture that I prepared. 
I will also check in rendering how it looks like before copying for the other hand. Alright, looks nice. Then I can quickly try another type of fabric just for a pleasure. Then we stop the rendering and let's go for the second hand. I turn around my avatar a bit. Then let's select the set, copy, and we're gonna mirror paste for the other side. The 3D arrangement is gonna be also copied at the same time, so we just have to find the right position again. All right. Then what if you realize you want to change the pose of the avatar? Let me quickly show you a possible workflow. Firstly, we will attach the pins to the avatar here. And now let's go pick another pose in the library. Here, library, go to the avatar folder, female, pose. Then I'm gonna pick this one here. If you close up to the nails, you will see actually they are all messed up now. I will detach them and then simulate quickly. Then I will remove all the pins now, but add again on the surface where it has contact with the fingers. Like this. And don't forget the other hand. Otherwise, everything will fall down. Then we can select all the pattern pieces to strengthen them. You can do it like this, or you can also do Ctrl A. Then strengthen here. Let's see what happens now if we simulate. They are strengthened, but falling down since they don't have the right fabric. In the property editor, we can change the physical property to something very stiff. So here, the hardware or full grain leather is a very good option. Now you can pull the nails to raise them a bit. They will likely to stay there now. Be careful not to move the whole nail like me. The left hand seems to be fine as well. Now let's go back to the rendering to check how it is presented. Here, once again, we can change the type of the fabric to quickly try different effects and be imaginative. So this is what I prepared for today. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. See you next time.